Don't think. Feel. It's just like a finger pointing to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger. All you miss all the heavenly glow. Do you understand? Sal Bona. All right, guys. I want to make this video just to respond to a very interesting question here made by my buddy Michael, Mr. Mr. Cooper. I believe, yeah, Michael Cooper. He was on Facebook. He made a very, very interesting, um, he raised a very interesting question. His question was, if you know a language and never use it, is, uh, is there any point having it? What do you think? I think this goes back to what we were talking about before. Um, usefulness or useful useless and all that good stuff people are saying that certain languages are useless um, this is just my opinion this is what I think I think that learning any language is a stepping stone I understand why you would ask that I think um, I don't know because I think you, you're doing Japanese and you're not in an, you're not in an environment you so you don't really get to use it every day I understand where you're coming from I was at some point I was the same way like with with Chinese, I got to the point to where um, I was feeling that I was feeling like I wasn't making progress, and I was telling myself that I don't know if I want to keep studying it because I'm not going to really use it every day. But then I came to a realization that learning any language is a stepping stone. Um, I love I love um, elevating my mental. It, when it when it has something to do with learning, I love it. In, in this case language learning has happens to be my passion so I love learning different languages you know I don't care if I learn it for only three months five six months I just love learning about them so I think that yeah it's definitely worth it's worth having um, the language It's worth it because for me I can help people you know especially with those languages that are obscure and useless I can help people for example, like a language like Hmong, a language that nobody will learn unless they have heritage in that language. I decided to learn that language. And then um, later on, there were some people that needed help. They couldn't find resources. They couldn't find a teacher. So they were asking me if I could help them learn a language. If I didn't have any knowledge in the language, there was no way I could have helped them learn that language. So that right there... Um, that right there is a, is a, is a indicates indicates that you know um, I didn't waste my time. I didn't waste my time learning that language, and it's worth. And I I've, I've never regret. I don't regret go, um, ever you know learning that language. So if you you know since you're doing Japanese, if, since you're doing Japanese, I think that um, maybe what you can do until that time comes where you can actually use the language every day in in, in that environment. Is try to help out others. There are a lot of people out there wanting wanting to learn Japanese. A lot of people, and they don't know what to do. They're beginners. They have no idea. They don't even think it's possible to learn Japanese. So, you know, you know, for you to have, you know, for you on your level, you will be able to help them out and show them what they need to do. That's what I've been doing with a lot of my languages. I don't get to use all these languages. I'm not living in, 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 in. Um, in an environment where they speak Hmong or any of these other languages, I try to use. That's why I started using YouTube. That is a, that, again, I start using YouTube to put my language out, my languages out there, and I start helping people. So by me doing this, this actually helps me to build my knowledge in the language itself. So um, I'm happy with I'm happy with doing this for now until I actually get an opportunity to live in that environment. So I don't know. I would suggest I would suggest you do the same. And um, not really worry about it. You, I'm pretty sure eventually you will get a chance to live in the environment. But um, what do you guys think? Like answering his question, do you think it's worth? Do you think it's um, worth having? Is there any point having that uh, having that language if you don't use it every day? If you're not in the environment, for me, yes, there's a point, and that point is for me helping people. And I, that, that right there is probably the best thing when you help somebody. So that's it for this video. Um, what do you guys think uh, about Mr. Cooper's question? Uh, if you want to post a video response or uh, post a comment below, go ahead and um, we'll discuss this later on. Thanks for viewing.